Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to play a little bit with uh, 201 uh, Benchtop uh, digital multimeters and it is in the entry level range and uh, I already have one for a while and that was the 01 uh, XDM 2041 and now Owen also has another one below that so super entry level and there are a lot of re reviews already on the YouTube but uh, if you are looking for an entry level uh, digital multimeter and you are doubting a little bit should I go for the 1041 or the 2041 I want to explain you the main differences that I found so far you might have seen it already on my uh, bench that is here the Owen I don't use it that much because my uh, Kitli that came later has a digit extra and now I even have the huge segment that has six and a half digits so I'm not using it that much and because it's an entry level it also the it takes a while before the value appears on the screen and sometimes it's really one or two seconds and uh, well I'm a bit spoiled with the Kitli that is super fast yeah. So let's start what is the main difference between the 2041 and the 1031 and that is first of all is the size as you can see this is a real benchtop DMM multimeter it, uh, it is like this it is big well it's not this big but it is this size now it really has a whole casing behind it and Owen now made this uh, 1041 and it fits in this box so let's have a quick look and then we put them side by side well here it is in the box and it's even smaller than the box because here it is from the front it is maybe even more or less the same size but uh, you can see the back it is not that long and uh, maybe that's that's where they uh, save the money because this is a four and a half digit 5.5 .5. And here, are, sorry, 5500 counts and 55 counts, both of them. Well, and it comes with uh, basic accessories, uh, USB cable, which is nice, uh, proper. Yeah, these are proper. Power plug, European in my case. Even some crocodiles. Nothing wrong with it screen looks more or less the same size if we look at the back power plug and USB I think you can have them uh, with old-fashioned serial nine pins or this USB of course I picked the USB because these are uh, the old nine pins are getting more and more rare and in the end the USB probably just emul emulates com port and uh, those you can put through a hub so that is no problem let's see the main difference the multi uh, multimeter by the way is again a borrow from uh, Ailer shop and uh, this one I actually bought from Ailer shop like one and a half year ago and uh, and this one is a borrow so this is a newer model uh, but what differences are we talking about well the old bigger one the 2041 is at Ailer shop around 150 euros while this newer one is 129 so it is a bit cheaper but it is also a lot smaller uh, so first of all it's the size second what you see immediately is here you have a four wire for your resistance so if you have your uh, Kelvin clips you can do proper sorry let me get my cable so if you have your uh, these Kelvin clips you can do four wire resistance which is more precise because you cancel out the loss in these cables it doesn't have that well, I think the rest of these options are more or less the same um, I do see here an extra milliamp and microamp connection which I don't see here so we can see how that works in the ranges uh, what I did notice that this one is now in DC volt that's the default when you start it up DC volts mode and the lowest here seems to be 5 volts 
while in this one the lowest there is 50 millivolts and it can really uh, make a difference of two digits if you are really want to measure uh, small voltages and uh, we can play a bit yes so we have auto range or 5 volts so that really means that is the lowest and this one goes up to a thousand volts and we go here to the ranges 50 millivolts 500 millivolts and if I go to next it also go up to a thousand so the maximum there is the same only the lower values are not so let's see what that actually means okay let me just hook that up one here the other one here and let me get my LBO to A and let's first try on uh, 100 millivolts see what will happen let me put it on the other side as you can see the scan is from both is not that fast it takes really a second or so to appear on the display this one seems actually a little bit faster but also because that is maybe because it is in the 5 uh, fold scale but uh, as you can see the lower values we're actually missing one digit here so that is in the bigger one that is nicer but if we go we have a scale below this also so let me try to set that that is below uh, these values is a little bit less convenient but it can do it here we are 50 millivolts and here we are really talking about a huge difference so for smaller voltages this would be your pick but okay what I said about the 1041 with the little voltages that you cannot measure that is not true they made a function here for the voltage that you set it from voltage to millivoltage and why I did that I don't really understand because here it is just one range from 50 millivolt all the way up to a thousand volts and this one you have to switch it over and why you need to do that I don't know because the input is exactly the same if you do this for current you really switch over from this terminal to this terminal so and for the amps that is the same so you really need to switch it over from amp mode to milliamp mode but here it makes sense because you really need to pick another terminal connection so why they did that for voltage it's uh, unclear so but uh, do we get the proper value yes uh, we do let's try the other one if that is a lot of I'm now looking at the amp range of uh, this one and it also goes to 10 amps uh, without switching it over well I noticed a little thing and uh, even though they both go from the sa same ranges not like 50 millivolts up to a thousand and 500 microamps up to 10 amps they both do that the little one the 1041 um, they um, they use a range switch you need to select the range first and there is one thing that I noticed it can be a little bit faster if you already know what value you are about to measure or more or less know what you're about to measure you can already set that to the correct and then because the meter is a little bit slow because it needs to go this one is slower it needs to go through all the ranges because it starts at the lower range and then it notices this need to go up well this one is already halfway set in the right range and that's why it's a little bit faster I can show you okay I have them both uh, to my 10 volts here 
And this one is in the volt range, and this one is well, auto range, so it's in 50 millivolts. So let's see which one is uh, faster. Oh, you saw both take a long time, and even this one is slower. So then I really don't get why you have this function to switch it over. Because the auto ranging in this one is faster than this one. This one needs to do half the steps because we are already in the 50 volt. Maybe if we switch to 5 volt, then we are just in the first count. 5 volt. Then it, it already is in the correct scale, so then it should be a little bit faster. Yes, it is. But it, so it is just that the switching the scales take time. Okay, well, we see that there is a little difference between both readouts, but probably is within specs. And uh, well, let's get the proper calibrator here. The DMM check plus, and it can also do AC, and then we can also do the dual function with the frequency. So uh, switch off this one. Let's put them in uh, AC mode. We can do the dual display with the frequency. Okay, same here, dual. Oh, first in AC, of course. AC, dual mode, frequency. Okay, you see the display layout is more or less the same from uh, both of them. Again, this one is already automatically in the lower scale. Here you need to do that manual. And, but we set it high because we're gonna measure five volts. It's already in the five volt scale. And here it will need to jump. Okay, AC volts. The DMM check plus is not running that long, but we should have more or less. And you see this one is a lot faster because it's already on the 5 volts and it stays on the 5 volt. And um, here we have it one. It just needs to switch through its auto scaling. But uh, it does it in the end, and they are not not that much apart. And we are measuring now on uh, 100 heads. I can do the same on uh, 10k. Then we will see a little difference. Okay, it turns out we it can't measure up to 10k. Uh, it is 10k, I think. It should be 5 volts on 10k. Yes, it is 10k. What if we put that in the Kidly? So I don't see any filtering if I go here. I don't see filtering. What does this say? Yeah, 4.999. Exactly what it should do. Okay, so the higher frequencies, but that is on both. So made for 50 Hz and a little bit higher. So if you look at both the meters, both are entry levels. One is 130, the other one is 150. So they both have the, well, they call it here mat functions, but they have a min max option and you can change your AC also in TBMs. Both can do that. The smaller one is also really nice uh, if you want to do quick measurements because uh, it will probably heat up a little bit faster. And also because it's only four and a half digit, maybe you don't mind too much. You just want to do a quick test because if you want to do a real test, you just use uh, an, an, another meter. So for quick testing and little space, this is actually a very nice machine also, but in the end, for those uh, 20 or 21 euros to be precise, I think with the 2041 you get a lot more meter for your money. So that's it. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.